fellow YouTubers, the rising sun, sort of, but, um, I don't know if you've noticed, but I did take down my video on the command block box, well, not really, it's unlisted, the link is in the description to it if you want to see it now, but I just wanted to cover an update to it that gets rid of the book that you needed in the description, and there were other things that this now does for you without you having to do it manually like set fire tick off and set your game mode to easy it does all that for you now with this button so you just press it and shablam it's gone shablam anyway so in this video, I'm going to go over the redstone, but first I'm going over the update because, frankly, if you didn't want to see the redstone, you just came here to see the video or the update. Yeah. So the update, um, the only thing really new is just the startup button, which just, um, adds the only scoreboard in this for you, so you don't have to, but it doesn't for me since it already is there it sets your difficulty to easy so that magic bats work and it sets fire tick false so that means fire won't spread another thing for the blaze fire bats hybrid thing. and and then this just deletes this block so, anyways, this is that's all the update has to offer. So, I'm gonna jump into the commands for this thing. So, I'm going to... My sister's in the room now. I, I, I want to stop this thing, because it gets annoying. There, okay, just... just I'll keep it in. Yeah, that's weird about new things. They just hop around. Get in! <sighs> Whatever, um... Here. Shoot. Okay, whatever. Um, so... The redstone and how it works. This is how we work. <laughs> so, I'm gonna go over the features on like the one that. Why is this? It's even more no. Oh! Yeah, this is probably a good thing then. Take it, Willie. Oh, goodness, that was annoying. Let me clear my. Oh. But it's always going to be back that thunder. So, this is just a simple fill clock, just filling this whole entire space here with lovely redstone that this one's trying to rapidly replace with uh, red clay. Anyway, so this command is just teleporting flamethrower one to magic bat one. Uh, I'll get into that when we need to get into that, but the first one is the bottle of thunder. Bottle that spawns thunder. So this test for if anyone has a bottle of thunder in their inventory right at the moment, which I do. If they don't, it sort of just gives them another one. Sort of can be annoying at moments. Anyways, so back into this, uh, this has a redstone torch on the other side, with, with, which is powered off whenever someone has it in their inventory. Powered on when someone doesn't, which I'll get to after. But when someone does have it in, this is setting this block over, it's not here, but if I were to get a block. Lapis or no one uses that. So it sets this block to air and this block right here to air. 
Then it puts a redstone block here. So this starts the clock because when I take it out, for a second you saw there it was different where there was a redstone block on top and stone in the middle. That's uh, the thing that happens uh, when you get rid of it. It turns itself off, but it also gives you another one back. So that feature is pretty much pointless at this moment in time. But anyway, so this clock is rapidly testing for XP ores, which is what shoots out of these bottles when you burst them at random numbers. And once it finds that, it starts a clock, which... The uh, command block people might think, well, people who know command blocks might think that's unnecessary and just a waste of space. But I, on the other hand, was messing around with it. I thought the same thing and just had it direct after I realized that the clock was probably pointless and just took up space. Until then, I started spamming this and the clock wasn't able to sort of keep up which I can't really believe that much since this is a one tick clock I think but it helps when you're spamming because if you're spamming them it's gonna need to do the same command over and over again which if it didn't do that it sort of locked up it just locked up because there were still XP orbs but none of them were like lightning yet anyway so once it finds the XP orbs on the ground it executes a command on all XP orbs no matter where they are and summons a lightning bolt sound glitch uh so yes this covers the bottle of sun oh no wait we didn't go for its fail safe thing Anyway, so if a player, if all players don't have it, all well, this just turns on, and it sets this here to redstone block, which overrides this, and turns this into stone, since that's what this is trying to make it look like, and basically jams the system so it stops, which is why it has to replace a block here whenever it's on again. So yeah, that's it, and then it just gives them a bottle of thunder. So yeah, that's it. Anyway, so now we go to the magic bats firework. So this keeps testing for fireworks rocket entity, which is the thing that spawns whenever you fire off a firework. Let me show you. So the firework in itself like that, when it's a firework, that's the fireworks rocket entity. And it's testing for that, and when it does find it, it summons a bat, mad, it, yeah, another bat, bat, fire thrower, which is actually just a blaze fire thrower, fire thrower. Then it just goes here, sets a transfer cooldown to 600, which to mathematical terms, 620 times, uh, and then, uh, oh wait, so 20, so, oh yeah, 20 times 3600, I'm sure that's the thing I use for this, um, since there's 20 ticks in one second, so it waits for 600 ticks, which equals up to 30 seconds, which is half a minute, and that means if they're not, they're around, 30 roughly around 30 seconds then it kills all blazes kills slimes i hate slimes that's just because i have mobs spawning off right now but i just still they pop up sometimes it kills bats and then gives you this once it kills the blazes which it always will but the reason for its randomness which uh if you didn't see the video it summons up to three bats so it could be zero one, two, or three bats. The most you can get getting three. This is because sometimes on this is because on random ticks, it can kill the bats when you spawn them, like right after they're spawned, so they're not teleported to you. Which I forgot to mention is what this does. It teleports to a random player, 
so that they're out on the field. Wherever the players are. That might not work if you have a server. Also, I realize glass doesn't show up when, you, when there's lightning. That's weird. So it's like glass in it. Stupid question is stupid, but I'm just saying. Some properties, maybe? Uh, that's beside the point, but it can kill the bat right before it's teleported here, which means it has that random number. Sometimes if it's not on the like, correct tick, you're gonna get none or maybe just one or two bats. If it's on like spot on tick, you're gonna get all three because they weren't killed before they were teleported and this had the transfer cooldown, which turned it off. And yeah, that's the magic bats. Um, so now on to the potion that just got given to me. Anyway, so the potion starts, it's not actually in the column since it doesn't actually need the clock to run, it just needs the scoreboard to run. It's right here. This is the clock, same thing. But this is casting mob spell to, to anyone who has a score of MLG1. But this is casting mob spell to anyone with MLG minimum of 1. It's just a particle command which gives you the poofy colorful particles whenever you drink it. Which looks cool. Instead of like the normal thing. Um... MLG being a scoreboard, which is whenever you use a potion, like whenever you drink one. So that's how it works. Once you drink a potion, since this is the only potion item here, it's gonna set this off. It tests for anyone with a score of MLG minimum of one. So it'll find any player. Then it affects them, anyone with an MLG minimum of one with a particle command of 10, which is regeneration, 18 seconds, that's 18, for, with a level of six, which basically makes you invincible. Cause levels are weird. So yeah, particles. Sometimes it doesn't work though, which is odd to me, but it you know, could be a wild card, I guess. Uh, if you don't know much about potion giving, I'll leave a link to the description for a video I did on customizing potions. So like having different effects for whenever a person has potions, and I go over this. Anyway, so next, it gets rid of their jump boost, which is what the normal, not regeneration part of it is. And... It does a transfer cooldown right here, or here, it's one of these. Which is basically resetting everyone's MLG score and getting rid of jump boost, because that was annoying when I still had jump boost. It sets a transfer cooldown so it doesn't get rid of your MLG, and this is also 18 seconds. Well, roughly around by calculating ticks and stuff. Then it says anyone with an MLG minimum of 1, they're now invincible, watch out. Well, you know, new addition to the update, that sometimes didn't display which is bothering me. Now it should display every single time. Yep, it should display every single time now, so. New thing to the update, more new and improved MLG potion. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Now it just basically says the thing, because I guess this was interfering and blocking. So now before it gets rid of it, it, it says it, so now it's new and improved, I guess. Also, it takes up less space. Yahoo. Anyways, now the second part, giving out the potion. So, well, this is actually the first part, I guess. So this is giving it out, it's just the command to give the potion out, 
And this is a transfer cooldown for this. Wait a second. Give me a second here. Also, a new improvement that would have made the actual old version in not workable. It would have been broken because of this, unless you put it right on the dot. But now, with relative coordinates that I just... It's sort of hard to do. I don't really like relative coordinates as much. But, uh, now it works still, and it's relative, so that means it's not gonna break. Woohoo. Anyway, so this does a transfer cooldown on this. Now at the relative coordinates, so you don't have to put it on the dot. For a, a thousand and two hundred, which is a minute. Gee. That sounds like a lot, but it's really short if, if you, like, are playing and then just keeps giving it. But it's random, so it might seem longer. Yeah, so now I haven't seen any faulty in the message it gives out. So that should all work now. Oh yeah, also these for the magic bats. This is teleporting flamethrower 1 to magic bat 1. Flamethrower 2 to magic bat 2. Flamethrower 3 to bat 3. Which means this also improves the randomness, sort of. Which means that the bats have to be there for the blaze to be there. Which means you can't have one without the other, other, which means the blaze don't come out unless there's a bat to make it look cool. Because the blazes are invincible. Okay, so that wraps it up. I'm pretty sure. Oh yes, that cut feature, that was because I learned that relative coordinates had to be used. Also, why is there light randomly coming in? Oh, whatever. Could be, like, one of these things. But, the cut feature was, uh, you know how these just break? Like, normal command block box things, I think. It originally had a thing where you couldn't break it because, like, it would be like these, and it would keep refilling itself. So this line used to be longer to hold all that. It was the roof and all these panels here that keep it all inside and make it a command block box. Command block smash box. <laughs> Jeez, it's so hard to say that. But you weren't... At the floor, you'd still be able to break, but then again, I doubt you'd be able to break it if it was a survival thing. So, anyways, when I found out I'm going to have to use relative coordinates, because that totally slipped my mind the whole entire time making this, as you saw, because there were still normal coordinates for this block. So, uh, yeah, uh, I couldn't put it in, because that would be way too hard, but I might try next command block box, since this is the first one I've ever made. Also, other instructions for you to do that I forgot to mention in the first video. Of course, check these to make sure they're respawning. If they're not, like I said, take anything. Oh, no. Not anything. Just see how it's all stained clay now. Put, break the stained clay. Put a command block there. Oh yeah, take that off. Put a command block there. Boom. Also, make the thing I didn't mention was make sure these are running. Just make sure they're not. If they're not, put one here. Here. And then just break that. Put this back, and it should work. Same goes with. This one. And it works. Also, another thing, 
make sure the hoppers are working. You might have to wait to see if that one's working, but if it's not actually moving, that means it's working, because that means this command was activated. Just make sure they're all working. If there's nothing in them, put something in them. So the new download link will be in the description with the starter, the new and improved stuff, and all that jazz. And if you want to see more command block box stuff, put a like. Why won't you? Because it makes the world um, happy for one person. Being me, because I know you appreciate my work if you do that. And uh, leave a comment if you want to see it, uh, like, well, for suggestions for a command block box. So if you have any ideas for the next command block box, uh, leave those in the comments below, which are below. But if you're on mobile, they're on the side, the right side. Because the comments are the right side to go on this. And comment ideas. I don't know. But yeah, comment your ideas below in the comments. And um, I'll see you later. And remember, the old video link is in the description. Um, and... MB Burns 49 signing out. Also, the download link is in the description. Also, MB Burns 49 signing out.